Hi, I'm Andrew Barton and I'm really excited to share with you one of the must-have looks of the season. It's got that Bridget Bardot type feel to it. It's gorgeous, it's glamorous, it's super sexy and really easy for you to create at home. When we use heated rollers in the hair, preparation's everything. So I've started preparing my model's hair with a smooth blow dry. I'm now just gonna give the hair a little bit of a spritz of an aerosol hairspray. That's just gonna help us get a little bit more hold in the hair. And then gently with a cushion brush, I'm just gonna brush the top surface just to make sure that all the surface is smooth. I'm gonna start off by taking an a section across the top of the head. And it's quite a large section. The larger the section, the more volume that you're gonna get and root lift in the hair. The smaller the section, the more curl that you're gonna get. And then this really is a secret tip. When you use a heated roller, take a Kleenex tissue, wrap the hair in the tissue, move it all the way up to the very ends of the hair. And what this will do is it will help you get the ends of the hair under in the roller. So we're just gonna wrap then the hair all the way down. Have a little bit of tension, don't be scared, just hold it quite tight to your head and then simply put the clamp in place. So the next section is gonna sit directly behind that first section. Lift the hair off the head shape, a little bit of the spray of the hairspray. Use the tissue, wrap it right to the very end so you've enveloped the ends of the hair and then take the second heated roller, make sure the ends are under and wrap it all the way down the hair and just lock that in position. So what we've done now is we started the first section on the front, worked all the way back, and then one section on the side. I'm now gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. So what you can see is we've worked quite random. You don't have to be too neat when you put heated rollers in. So what we're gonna do now is just leave the hair to cool down with the heated rollers for the next 10 minutes. This is the time for you to put your makeup on, get ready for your big night out, and then we'll explain how we're gonna take down the hair afterwards. With the setting complete and the cooling finished for 10 minutes, it's now time to take the rollers out. So I'm literally just gonna start at the back of the head, unravel the hair and the tissue, just give it a little loop in my fingers, And then starting from the front, and I'm just gonna start brushing the hair through. What I'm doing is I'm grabbing the length of the hair, almost into a ponytail. And then just brushing the hair through first, and then brushing the tail. So you see we get that kind of perfect little ponytail where the hair just bounces back on itself. I'm just gonna then start by just using my hands, separating and scrunching the hair and pulling some of that texture and movement out. What I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna use a back combing brush and I'm just gonna start at the very front of the hair and then go down the hair shaft with the back brushing. And I'm gonna do this just mainly through the top section just to give us a little bit of extra padded volume and height. Then what we're going to do is just come gently over the surface of the hair, just brushing through some of that back brushing. And then we're just going to put the head back and again just tussle the remaining hair at the back of the head. And we're just going to come in with a little bit of the hairspray and scrunch that into the hair. And then just to the back of the hair, I'm just going to very gently just group of that top layer together and then with a fine grip I'm just going to come in and just secure wrapping the pin into the hair just to give it that really cool kind of vintage Bridget Bardot type feel. There you have it, a gorgeous retro vintage inspired look, really sexy, really glamorous and 
really easy for you to create at home.